When you are not on a call, this is where a lot of people sort of underestimate what you might still be exposed to, I have with me a shielding pad. Now, now this has shielded fabric on the inside. The outer pocket does not have shielding on it, not on this side. Right? But of course it's backed by this side of the pad, which has two layers. Now you can make a call. The sound will still go through, but you've got two layers of shielded fabric between you and the phone. We've had uh, people ask us, uh, you know, clients of ours, patients of ours, um, to come up with a solution for uh, cell phones. So years ago, uh, because people were saying, I can't make a call anymore without getting a headache. Uh, we started experiment, um, experimenting a little bit and we came up with a shielding pouch. So in a shielding pouch, there are two layers of shielded fabric on the inside of the pouch. Uh, this is a place where you can store business cards or those sorts of things. The outer pocket does not have shielding on it, not on this side. Right? But of course it's backed by this side of the pouch, which has two layers. So when you stick a phone in this pocket here, you've got two layers of shielded fabric on one side of your phone. All right, so if you've got the phone, stick it in the pouch, and this is a bit of a nice tight fit. This is a, a 13 uh, Pro Max. It's in a large pouch, but there is no cover, no no casing on this phone. It now fits in a large, nice and snug, but if you put any sort of case in it, you'll have to go bigger. The large will be too small. All right, so now, during a call, it makes sense. You want to reduce the radiation. That's when the radiation is also the strongest. So when you receive a call, you would take it out of your, out of your pouch. You would answer it. Then you can slide it back in the pouch with the speaker towards the shielded fabric and now you can make a call. The sound will still go through but you got two layers of shielded fabric between you and the phone. US aerodrome weather. Wind 340 degrees magnetic 11 knots. QNH 1020 hectopascals. Temperature 18. Cloud clear below 1, 2,000 feet. Visibility 10 kilometers. Viewpoint 8. Humidity okay, 5. So that was on 4G. Okay, 4G. Now I'm going to change the settings. One handed operation to 5G. I'm going to make that call again. It's the uh, aviation weather report at an airport. It's automated, so they always pick up. <laughs> oh, they're engaged. <laughs> Give that a minute. Okay, so of course this depends a little bit on where you are in relation to the tower, how hard does the phone need to work. Um, there's, there's quite a lot of unexpected variables in there. But you can see that even with the phone on standby, as in uh, the phone is, is active, um, we got low, relatively low radio frequency radiation on my body here. All right. 
Um, see, the phone's obviously doing things. You can still hear that. Turn the volume up a little bit on this thing. All right, so let's do that again. Now I'm going back to settings. I'll turn it back onto 4G only. Grab the phone, ring the weather service again. So you can see that that exposure varies between 5G and 4G. It's sending in the same spot, same distance from the tower. Um, you know, still, of course, it jumps all over the place, but you can sort of see that on 5G, those numbers were significantly higher. All right. Now I'm gonna do a little extra experiment. I have with me, sorry, this thing's making a lot of noise. I have with me a shielding pouch. Uh, now this has shielded fabric on the inside and it has an outer pocket which is not shielded as in that is normal fabric so then uh, i've got twice the amount of fabric shielding fabric on one side of that po outer pocket let's say so the idea is that you can take your phone you slide it into the outer pocket and then when you make a call, you put on your head. Oh, sorry. You should never put a phone on your head, right? You should be using speakerphone, but if you don't have the privacy and it must go on your head, then at least put that in the middle, right? The sound will still go through, but the radio frequency radiation now has that barrier in the middle. All right. So I'm now gonna try and do the same experiment I'm going to make the call and uh, let me check my settings. We are on 4G only. So now I'm going to make a call to the weather service. I'll keep it on speakerphone just for entertainment value. Slide it in the patch. All right, so considerably less than what it was before, right? So hanging up, going back to 5G. So it's a little difficult doing this on your own. Come on, yep, 5G selected. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. Hope they're answering. <laughs> Okay, calling, speakerphone, they're still engaged for my last call. Must be wondering why they're so popular all of a sudden. What that's for is that when you're in a plane and you have access to a phone, you can ring this number. Um, or when you're sitting at home, you want to plan the weather and know what the weather at the airport is. You can ring this number and then you hear exactly what you need. All right, here we go. We are on... Um, 5G selected, we have a 5G signal, ringing, speakerphone, <laughs> come on people. Okay, so just showing you 5G still selected and we have a 5G signal, ringing, speaker, must be overburdening them. Let's ring another one. Let's ring uh, Avalon. Radio 
Back in the pocket. So now it's on 5G. So significantly lower than what it was, right? Speaker phones always better. Right? The phones do also make a magnetic field. You can't shield against those. But if you're going to put this thing on your head, then at least put this in the middle. All right, so that's one way to do it. If you think that sticking it in the pouch is a little bit uh, arduous, well, then just, or you can't remember how to position it. Well, here's the phone. There's the speaker. Here's your pouch. And now put it against your head. Right, the pouch is still in the middle, uh, the same job is, uh, is being done. So during a call, that makes a lot of sense. When you are not on a call, this is where a lot of people sort of underestimate what you might still be exposed to. You should not have a phone in your um, in the pockets of your pants or in your handbag and carry it on your waist the whole time. Um, you've got this radiation very close to your body and very close to your reproductive material. Uh, for men, this is important because sperm cells take four months to mature, to be grown, let's say, uh, where girls are born with all genetic material on board, basically from birth. Um, so they're not going to get any more eggs. What they've got is what they've got. And so the more you damage it, it doesn't repair. That's what it is. Um, and again, there's research um, showing that, you know, radio frequency radiation is a problem in that regard so you should not have this in your pocket and you should not have it in your handbag just the way it is if you have the shielding pouch again what you could do or what you should do is you just slide it into the pouch where it normally sits now you again you got the two layers of shielded fabric on one side of your phone now if you have to put it into your pocket again remember it makes a magnetic field you can't shield against that but if you're going to stick it in your pocket anyway and then at least with this pouch in the um, in between, when you position it in your pocket with the shielded fabric in between, you got a barrier against that radio frequency radiation, helping you to reduce that exposure. Um, same thing with a handbag; you can position it in a handbag against the wall of the handbag, positioned in such a manner that you've got that barrier uh, between you and the phone. I hope you found this uh, video useful. Please subscribe, hit the notification button as well and uh, while you're at it why don't you give this video a little uh, little like check out our channel for more information about radiation and uh, we also have consultants available that can help you with your home and uh, investigate especially the sleeping environment which is so important all right thank you see you next time So, and now you go and touch your hand on the uh, window. Now we have a reading of 270 volt per meter. Or you measure the absorption of the body. So when we measure people, we measure them whilst they're in bed. But I can guarantee you, you bump into it. Yeah.